After the midterm elections, the chorus from Republicans was pretty much astonishing. Uh, call after call for the parties to work together and embrace a new era of bipartisanship in Washington. It didn't last long. This is House Speaker John Boehner today talking about the president's options on a possible Keystone Pipeline bill and throwing in a gratuitous reference to the GOP's favorite MIT economics professor. Vetoing an overwhelmingly popular bill uh, would be a clear ind indication that he doesn't care about the American people's priorities. It would be equivalent of calling the American people stupid. Um, <laughs> Mark, that's a little a little grubering there. Um, I, the, the raises that we've seen a lot of back, well, kind of bile spewing back and forth in the last 72 hours. Do, is this all just telling us the bipartisanship was ever possible or was always a chimera? I've gone back and forth. I still think that Boehner and McConnell would like to get things done. We, late breaking news on the president and immigration suggests yeah. he is going to go forward with a pretty big executive order. On Thursday, we think. This week. Yeah. I mean... I still believe that the White House, despite their protestations to the contrary, they don't quite get the full impact of how Republicans are going to react. So in the short term, I don't see a lot of prospect for bipartisanship. Perhaps after this order, perhaps after they deal with the spending deadline, maybe. But right now, you just you listen to John Boehner. That's authentic. That's not play acting. Yeah. They are they are angry at the president on a range of matters, and that is not going to allow a breakthrough to occur. There, there is a little bit on both sides, and, and I, I, you can't take all the, all the, you can't put all the blame on the president. There's a little no. bit of my way or the highwayism about the Republican Party. There has been for the last six years. It's hard to get rid of that just because they took control of the Senate. In fact, there's incentives that are making them want to go back to that. They didn't, they've had my way or the highway when they had no power. Now they've got power. It'd be weird if they suddenly were like, hey, let's all do it nice together. On this day, you'd have to say bipartisanship is unlikely. Dead. Yeah.